everyone, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and I'm back today with another tutorial. This is a bracelet that was inspired by the contents of the Paradise Aquatic Collection from Eureka Crystal Beads. You can see I have two different colorways. This is a colorway based on what came in that collection and this one is just a design put together based on things that I had in my stash. I'll leave a full materials list down below the video with all the specifics and links to each of these products and the quantities and also the Paradise Aquatic Collection if you'd like to pick that up. But of course, you don't have to have that in order to make this bracelet. As for the beads we'll be using today, I have four and eight millimeter fire polish, 80 and 110 seed beads, and the bottom of this bracelet contains a base of some of these Miyuki quarter tilas. I have finished off this bracelet with a button clasp that I had gotten from bbcraft.com and I don't usually show button clasp closures in my tutorials so I thought I would do that as something different. You're welcome to use a button that you have or complete this bracelet in any way you choose. I'll also be sharing with you how you can create these loops on the end for further adjustability of your bracelet. Also, by the way, the finished product that I'll be making today will be approximately seven inches. So if you'd like your bracelet longer or shorter, you can adjust the design accordingly. Today we'll be using approximately nine feet of beading thread and two beading needles. My preferred thread is the six pound fire line and the black satin that black does not rub off on your hands like the smoke color does, but you can use the beading thread of your choice. So with all that info out of the way, you can go ahead and string your needles on both ends of a nine foot length of thread and let's get started. I have a needle in my left hand and a needle in my right hand. And first we're gonna pick up two 11 O's and that can be on the same needle. I'm just picking that up with my right and stringing that down and pulling those to the center of the thread. Now take a moment to get your thread situated and straightened out. You want to have about the same amount on both sides. Next, you'll be picking up an eight millimeter fire polish and stringing that on to both needles. So now I'll be going through it with my left. And once again, just pull this down to the center of your thread and you have something that looks like this with your eight millimeter fire polish and those two seed beads sitting there at that end. Once again, just making sure that this is sitting at the center point of your thread and take a minute to get your left and your right straightened out. And now comes the sequence that we'll be repeating for the entire length. On each side, we're gonna be picking up a quarter tila, an 11 -0 and a quarter tila. And I'm also gonna go ahead and pick up another eight millimeter fire polish that we're going to also pass through with our left hand needle. You can pull those beads down and then with your other needle, you can pick up a quarter tila, an 11 O, and a quarter tila, and also pass through that eight millimeter we just added on. And now you should have something that looks like this. This is where we started, and this is what we just added on. And you're gonna repeat those same additions starting with the quarter tilas on each side for the entire length of your bracelet, however long you would like this portion to be. For the length that I'm going with, that'll be until the point where I've added about 12 of the eight millimeter fire polish. Let's do one more sequence together before I cut you loose. All right, so once again on both sides, quarter tila, 11 O quarter tila and I'll go ahead and pick up an eight millimeter and you can string those down. And on the other side, same deal, quarter tila, 11 O and quarter tila and then you'll be passing through that eight millimeter that was just added. So keep going, repeating that step and that sequence of beads until you have reached your last eight millimeter fire polish, and then we'll meet back for the next step. Welcome back everyone. Once you've gotten to this point, you are ready to then add on three 11 O seed beads to one side. I'm just gonna add that onto the right hand side and pull those down. 
And then with your other needle, you're gonna cross through those three seed beads. And once you do that, your needles are then going to switch places. So what was on the right will be on the left and what was on the left will be on the right. Now we'll be heading back in the other direction to complete the next portion of the bracelet. First, what we want to do on both sides, we're going to be picking up four 11 O's and one 8 O. And you're going to go through the first quarter tila that you get to on that side. So go through that quarter tila, the open hole that is hanging out. And that's going to wrap those seed beads right around that first eight millimeter. Repeat that step on the other side, pick up four 11 O's and also pick up one 8 O and string those down. And then go through the quarter tila that is on the other side, that first one that you get to on the same side that you're working on. And then from here on out, you'll be completing the same sequence all the way down the bracelet. And that's gonna look like this. You're gonna pick up a four millimeter fire polish. Once you're coming out of one of those quarter tilas, and you're gonna pop a four millimeter in between each quarter tila. So I'm just going through the next quarter tila on that side. And then around the eight millimeters, you're going to add an 8 0 an 11 0 and an 8 0 and go through the next quarter tila on the other side of that eight millimeter. And so you'll just repeat that sequence all the way down four millimeter in here and then 8 0 11 0 and 8 0 in between these two. Let's do one more on the other side and you can complete these both simultaneously or if you'd feel better just doing one side and then doing the other side separately, that should be fine. I personally like to keep them going at the same time just so everything stays at a similar tension, but it really doesn't make that big of a difference. So that's up to you. So I'm just adding a, another four millimeter in there on the other side, just like we did before. And then I'm gonna go through the next quarter tila that I get to on this side. All right, so just repeat that all the way down the other side as well. And don't worry if it's a little bit loose right now, this will tighten up as we go. We still have some more steps to do once this portion is done. So keep adding in those beads in between the quarter tilas and we'll meet back once we get to the last eight millimeter fire polish. Welcome back again, everyone. All right, so we are at the last eight millimeter fire polish and we're coming out of these last quarter tila beads. We wanna mirror what we did on this side. So we wanna pick up an 8-0 and four of our 11 O's On each side, I'm gonna do the right side first, and then you wanna go up through that first 11-0 there on the end. We'll pull this so those seed beads will wrap around that eight millimeter. And then we wanna go down through the next 11-0 and also through the eight millimeter fire polish. That gets this needle on the other side and we're gonna repeat the same thing on the left. So I'm going to pick up one, eight O and four, 11 O seed beads. And then I'm gonna go up through that first 11 O and then down through the 11 O and the eight millimeter. And there we go. So our needles have switched sides once again and we're gonna be working in the other direction. And now for the next step that is going to repeat all the way down the length of the bracelet on both sides. And that is where you're going to be placing two 8 seed beads on each side in between each eight millimeter fire polish. 
So coming out of that fire polish, I'm going to pick up two 8 seed beads and just head directly through the next 8 millimeter, Just like that, just puts two of those on this side and we'll do the same thing on the left. So I'll pick up two 8 seed beads. Again, coming out of this 8 millimeter fire polish, and I'm going to head through the next eight millimeter fire polish. And when I pull that, now we have two sets of two eight O's in between these fire polish. Keep going all the way down your bracelet, adding two eight O's in between those on each side, and then we'll meet back again at the other end. Okay, it's coming together, isn't it? So now that we're on this side, we can take our needles and feed them through the four seed beads on the side. I'm just gonna go through as many at a time as I can. Got through the first two, and now I'm gonna go through the next two, and we wanna be coming out that first 8 seed bead. So that one needle is in place. We'll do the same thing on the other side. I'm going through the four 11 O's and then coming out the first eight O. And now we're in position to start our next step, which is no surprise, we'll repeat all the way down the bracelet. And at this point, we're gonna be popping in 11 O's in between each of the eight O's that we have on our bracelet pretty much. So starting with the right hand side, and I'm coming out of this eight O, I'm gonna pick up an 11 O and go through that first 8 that I get to after the fire polish, I'm gonna pick up another 11 and go through the next 8 in that little group of two, then pick up another 11 and pass through that group of three seed beads, the 8 0 11 and 8 And then you'll just repeat that all the way down. Let's do our other side. And once again, you can do these sides simultaneously, which is probably a good idea. It just helps you keep the same kind of tension on both sides. So picking up an 11 and then going through the first 8 on that side, picking up another 11 and going through the next 8 picking up another 11 and going through those three seed beads at the side, the 8 the 11 and the 8 and pulling. So keep adding those 11 in in that manner on both sides all the way down to the end of your bracelet, and then we'll finish it up with the button clasp and the loops. All right, now we are at this end, and as you can see, I have both needles coming out of these 8 seed beads, and on this end, we're going to be attaching our button clasp. So just with one needle, we're going to take care of that, and the other one can sit there until we're ready to get to the other side. So just pick up one, and I'm going to do my right-hand side, since that's a little bit more comfortable, and I'm going to proceed through the four seed beads that we get to next, those 11 O's. And then I'm going to come out of the next 11 O. So I'm coming out of this 11 O that's sitting vertically over top of this eight millimeter fire polish. And we're gonna do a little bit of herringbone. I'm gonna pick up two more 11 O's and I'm then gonna go down through the next 11 O. And then I'm gonna go up through the two 11 O's on the right. Then I'm gonna pick up an eight O, go down the two 11 O's again go up through the two on the right. And exit out of the 8 there at the top. Now we're gonna form a little mini loop. We'll add on an 11 an 8 an 11 an 8 an 11 an 8 and one more 11 So we have this sequence on our needle and then we're gonna go back through that 8 on the end.
So we've made ourselves this little loop and we're gonna reinforce it by going through all these beads once again. Whatever you can get through. And I'm going back up the 11-0 and 8-0 and 11-0 on the side. And I'm going to exit by coming out of the 8-0 on this end. Next, I'm going to pick up two 8-0s and go back through the 8-0 that's on the end. And then go up through the 8-0 that's sitting there on the right-hand side. And we'll pick up two more 8-0s. We're going to do a little bit more herringbone. And then back up the two 8-0s that are there on the right. We'll repeat that again, two more 8-0s. Can just go down the next 8-0 and then back up these two. And let's do one more set of two, picking up two more 8-0s, going down through the 8-0 on the left, and once again, back up through the two 8-0s on the right, and just make sure you tighten that. And now we can string on our buttons, so I'm just going through one of those holes. And then I'm gonna pick up an 8-0, an 11-0, and an 8-0, and pass through the other hole of the button. Now let's go down through all four of those 8-0s. And we're gonna reinforce this by going up through all four on the other side, through the button, through the three seed beads there at the top of the button, just like that. And then back down through the four 8-0s. Let's cross over through that single 8-0. Go down through the 11-0, the 8-0, and the 11-0. Then go through the next 8-0, and I'm just gonna go ahead and go down through those two 11-0s. At this point, we can start the process of tying and knotting off our thread, and I'm just gonna go back up through these two 11-0s and make some knots up through here as I go. I'm gonna go through the 8-0 this way, just to kind of even things out, and then go up through the three seed beads on the left side. And I think I'll make my first knot right here. I'll go through the 8-0. up through an 8-0 on the right, and I'll make another knot right in there. And this is totally up to you how you want to finish off your bracelet and knot it off. I'm gonna go through the next two, and I'll make one final knot right at this point. So if you've got a little bit of thread left over, you can continue going through some more beads, or you can clip your thread off and be done with that side. I'm just gonna trim this. There we go. So we've got our button portion attached. We still have this length of thread left to work with. We're gonna make our way through the center of the bracelet to get to the other side, which is where we're going to add those three loops that will fit our button clasp. So take your thread, which is exiting out of this 8-0 right here on the side, Go up through those four seed beads, the 11 O's, and then go down through the eight millimeter fire polish and continue going down through the eight millimeters all the way down the bracelet. 
and you won't even see this thread hiding underneath. Keep going, just feed it through. and exit out of that eight millimeter on the other side. Just like that. And now you can take your needle and go up through the seed bead right there in that little group of three that's at the end of this eight millimeter. And I'm also gonna go through the next two. So going through those three that are on the top and we're gonna start forming some rings at this location. We're gonna pick up alternating size 11 and size 80 seed beads to create our rings. And you'll want to make your rings about the same width of your button, whatever you're using. So with mine, my rings need to be a size loop with 10 80 seed beads alternating with the 11 O's. So I'm gonna pick up 11, 8, 11, 8, 11 and keep alternating until I have 10 8-0s worth on my needle. And ending with an 11-0. And now I'm going to go back through those three seed beads there on the end one more time. I get through that third one. Here we go. And let's go around this ring of beads that we just added one more time. There we go. And through those three seed beads again where it all started. And then heading through the loop again. And stopping after I've come out of the sixth 80 in that loop. Then I'm going to add an 11 0, an 8 0, an 11 0, an 8 0, an 11 0, an 8 0, and one more 11 0. And I'm going to go through the fifth 80 in that ring of seed beads, also proceeding through the next 11 0 and the next 80. Then I'm going to go up through the 11 0, the 80, the 11 0. And then through the next 80 and 11 0. And we'll form another ring right here. So I'm going to again alternate. 8 O's and 11 O's, this time starting with my 8 O's until I have nine more 8 O's on my needle, which will then form another ring. So then I'm gonna take this and string these beads down and go through the 11080 and 110 that are at the end of that loop we were coming out of. And we'll be reinforcing all of this at the very end. So if it's a tad bit loose, it's okay. We're gonna go through it again at that point. So I'm just going through the seed beads in the loop that we just added once again until I'm coming out of that 11 which would be number five on the ring. Let's pick up an 8 an 11 an 8 an 11 and then one more 8 and then go through the 11 8, 11, 
right there at the end of this ring. It's going to form this little tiny ring right here, which will connect our final loop for our button clasp. So let's continue on up through the 80 and the 110, through the 80, and then the next 110. And we'll form one more ring the same size as this one. So again, that's going to be alternating 80s and 110s until there are nine 80s on my needle. And ending with the ninth 80 and then swinging around and going through the three beads here at the very end, 11, eight, and 11. So we have three rings in place and now all we have to do is reinforce them. So you're gonna go through these rings again, pulling tight as you go and you can make some half hitch knots along the way. You don't have to watch me do that if you've come this far. So I'm gonna finish that up off camera and then we will meet back and check out the finished product. All right, you guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you really enjoyed it and I hope you found it easy to follow. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you have attempted this and how it turned out or anything else you'd like to say. I wanna give you guys a huge thank you for being with me today. And if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up down below the video and please do subscribe while you're there because I'd love to have you back for future tutorials and other beading videos. As a reminder, all of the materials will be listed right down below the video in the description section with links to everything that I'm using today. And you can also find the links to my social media handles down there because I'd love to have you following along with me on those sites as well. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day. I hope you're staying creative and healthy. And as always, happy beating. Mm -hmm.